Hello guys and welcome to my May in Peace video. What a wonderful So I have a ton of empties here, as you can see, as every month is, but I am a little lighter on candles, I will say this month, but we like overdid it on the body care, so I'm really happy about that. So let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the shower gels. I have the Philosophy Strawberry Guava Coconut, and I finished this one completely off. Really love this formula. I don't know how I overlooked Philosophy for so long, but I really liked this. It was nice and fruity, but still had that coconut, so it made it feel like I was going into summer. Really, really enjoyed this. Let me know what your favorite philosophy shower gel formula is, or not formula, scent is, and I will go check it out and see if my TJ Maxx or Marshalls has them because I would love to pick up another one. I do have a pumpkin icing one that I'm saving for the fall, but I would love like a summery, maybe a coconutty one, so we'll see and then i also finished off the in the stars moisturizing body wash and this was also in my spring project use it up really loved this i love their moisturizing body wash formula it's one of my favorites from bath and body works so really enjoyed this one next i finished off this gingham vibrant foaming sugar scrub really liked the foaming sugar scrub formula also um not my favorite scent this is wild blackberries candied violets and soft vanilla it's a good scent, but it's not my favorite, and I'm not a floral person, as you guys know, so it wasn't my favorite, but glad to have finished it. I was able to get through three moisturizers this month. I finished up the In The Stars Body Lotion, the Midnight Amber Glow Body Lotion, and my Fenty Butter Drop in Vanilla Dream. Really love this formula. I liked that it was shimmering. I thought that was really fun and like added a cool little flair to it, and I loved all of these lotions, and I would definitely repurchase all three of them. Also finished off two body mists. I never thought that I would say that like in my life. I am so bad at finishing off mists, but I did get through my Sol de Janeiro 71. This is caramelized vanilla and macadamia. Really just smells like a sweet sugary gourmand cookie. It smells so good. One of my favorites. I had to like force myself to finish it because I was just gonna hold on to this forever, but I can always buy uh, another one. So I don't need to hold on to things like that. That's a hoarder mindset, Victoria. And then I finished off Ice Sugar Plum in the Fine Fragrance Mist. One of my, not one of my favorites, but I really did like this one. It's Sparkling Sugar Plum Snowdrop Petals and Whipped Marshmallow. It's a super easy one to use. It's just like fruity with a little sugar from the marshmallow and it was a nice scent. Now I do have a couple like miscellaneous body care items. I have this Vanilla Bean Noel um, hand cream from this past year. Love Vanilla Bean Noel. I will always repurchase it no matter I know the, the formula, the scent has definitely degraded over the years, but in the uh, body cream and in the hand cream, I feel like the scent hasn't really changed that much, so I really love it. Finished off these soaking bath salts in the scent vanilla, and this was actually from Five Below. I got this a few years ago as like a little Christmas stocking stuffer for my mom, and I really liked them. Um, I've just gotten back into baths now that I have a big bathtub at this new house, so really happy about that. Finished off my Tree Hut Tunisian Vanilla Bean Post Shave Soothing Mist. I really loved this stuff, but I have to tell you, and you know what, I'm going to show you my alternative that I found. The Flamingo Restorative Post Shave Serum is the best thing I've ever tried because I have not had a single ingrown hair or like red spot after shaving since I bought this. So totally recommend it. Here's the packaging for you. I think I got this from Target. Oh my gosh, it's a lifesaver. So totally recommend this one. And it doesn't sting. This one used to sting, this one does not. And the last body care item I finished is the Degree Advanced Motion Sense White Flowers and Lychee. This is my favorite formula of um, deodorant. I like the Degree Advanced Motion Sense line. I think I actually just picked up a coconut version of this one and I really like it a little bit better. So I really do like this line. I was able to get through three hand soaps last month. I finished off Strawberry Snowflakes from this past winter. Really loved the scent. It was just like a super sweet sugary strawberry scent. Really liked it. Also finished Almond Blossom. I feel like this one is super sophisticated. I like that it's very simple. It's almond milk, coriander, and vanilla sugar. I feel like it does have a little bit of a floral aspect, and maybe that's the coriander that I'm smelling, but it's really nice. I feel like this is 
definitely more of like a fall scent, but it's year round and that it's not like super spicy or anything, but it does kind of remind me of fall, I think just because of that like almond milk kind of scent. And then I also finished off Limoncello. This is Sorrento Lemon Sugar Mint and Fresh Ver Verbena, just super simple lemony fresh scent really liked it the one and only candle that i finished off this month is saltwater breeze now it's really funny that i only finished one candle this month because we actually lost power for like three days and i was using a bunch of candles but i was being really mindful and only using them for about three hours so it's kind of weird that i only finished off one candle but here it is saltwater breeze I loved this scent. It was like the perfect intro into summer. It's fresh linen, violet leaves, and white water blossom. I'm kind of sad that this year's semi-annual sale did not bring back a bunch of the body care scent candles because those are some of my favorites, honestly. This one was so good in the bedroom, in the bathroom while I was taking my wonderful baths. It was just the perfect intro into summer. It was like fresh, but I feel like there is some sort of Maybe not coconut, but definitely I get like an island breeze kind of thing in here. So I loved it. It was great. I definitely would repurchase. So I also have a few wax bars. I was trying to get through a couple of the ones that I had already been really close to finishing. So I finished off Sensational's Marshmallow Krispies. This one's so yummy. I have it in my warmer right now in the bedroom. It's just like a Fruity Pebbles scent, it's so good. Finished off two from Scentsy. I have Crumb Top, which is just like a muffin scent and hazelnut latte which is like a coffee with cream with a lot of cream scent so i liked those and i think i did actually mix it with this uh drizzle melts this is from swan creek candle co and roasted espresso i actually got this from my bucky's near me and yeah bucky's is like a huge gas station in texas which i'm sure you guys have heard of they built one i think in Gulf Shores and I think they're going to build them in other places too but they do sell they have like a whole homeware section and they do sell wax and they have some good scents over there so this lasted me a long time because it's these huge cubes so really recommend this was like a really strong espresso scent so I liked it a lot I did finish off one single wallflower refill in strawberry pound cake I don't own like any more fragrances. I think I just have a couple Twisted Peppermint, so I am waiting on a shipment for SAS to be able to refill my other one, so I'll probably have a couple more empties for next month. I only have these two very small makeup items. I finished off my Tarte Tartlet Tubing Mascara. I did not like this. Um, it was average. I don't think I would ever pay full price for it. I think I got it as a free sample from Sephora, and it was just fine. It was all right. <laughs> And I also finished off my Jack Black Intense Therapy Lip Balm in Natural Mint. This is my favorite lip balm ever. It definitely moisturizes. It's like no fuss. It's also SPF. And the mint one is my favorite just because it makes me feel like I have minty fresh breath too. So I really liked the, the uh, lip balm. Would not repurchase the Tarte Mascara. We have a couple skincare items and then we are done. So I finished off this Face Boom Superstar um, face wash. This is actually in like Dutch, I think. This was a UGC campaign that I participated in and you got free products. So yeah, I used this, it was fine. It smelled super strong of like this like fruity scent. So it wasn't my favorite, but I finished it up. I definitely would not repurchase that. It really didn't do much for me. Um, and then I have this Crave Beauty Great Barrier Relief Skin Soothing Serum. I love this stuff. Crave Beauty is one of my favorite indie skincare brands. It's really awesome and they do um, a lot of stuff for the environment. So they have reef safe sunscreen that doesn't bleach corals and they just really care about the environment. Okay. So I liked this one. Um, I don't really need this. I think it's more for problematic skin. So I didn't notice a huge difference, but it felt very, very moisturizing. So that was good. And the last two items, these are my final empties of the month. They're both from Mary Kay. And if you guys don't know, my mom does sell Mary Kay. She's been selling it as long as I've been alive, which is really funny. Um, but their skincare is kind of next level, okay? If you haven't tried it, you need to. The Clear Proof Clarifying Cleansing Gel, I've gone through so many of these in my lifetime. I use this mainly at night. It gets off makeup really well, and it's very good at super cleansing. It leaves you that squeaky clean feeling, which I wanna feel at night, because I don't wanna have any oils and stuff left over from the day, so I really love this stuff. It also does a good job at getting rid of any um, like sunscreen that you're wearing, so that works really well. 
And then I have the Clinical Solutions Vitamin C Line Reducer. I use this every single day. I love my vitamin C serum, I swear. It made a huge difference. You can't see now because I'm wearing makeup, but with my sunspots that I used to have from just doing so many years outside in Color Guard, I had a lot of sunspots and sun damage, and this really helped a lot. So totally recommend if you've not tried their skincare line, you definitely need to give it a shot. Okay, so that is everything for my May empties. Really looking forward to June and hopefully finishing off a lot of those candles. I will be having a Project Wax video coming out soon talking about what candles I will be aiming to get through over the next month. So look forward to that. And if you aren't already, go ahead and subscribe down below and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.